Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And there are not a lot of constants in the universe, but one of them, I think, is that Husky bags, tool bags, have never let me down. Um, I've had a bunch of them. I've got two here, and they just seem solid. The zippers hold up. The design, as simple as it is, seems to work, and they are reliable. Uh, this is the one I'm going to highlight today, but I've had others. Uh, here's a Petzl tool bag. Um, I've got Vito tool bags. Here's a CLC tool bag loaded. Um, this guy here, if you haven't used any, I think it's custom leather craft. Um, they're decent bags. This is a backpack. I'm not a big fan of it as a backpack. Um, I do like the Klein backpacks. Here's a camo one. Um, I like these way better than the Milwaukee and they have a great base as well. Um, bunch of Vitos. I've got um, a Knipex. I've got hard clines. These are great um, just as a container more than anything. But anyway, this is one I want to highlight. It's a simple little bag. These are about 35 bucks, which compared to a veto price, when you're dealing with like 160 bucks for something like this, um, of course, this is veto, veto quality and, you know, we've got two sides. But for a nice layout on a decent narrow platform bag, uh, great straps. Now, I've got two things in here to show you. One is I often like to be able to have a full-size drill. Here's my, my Milwaukee Surge M18, love this thing. Drop that in. And then this is a 250 uh, millimeter Knipex um, Cobra. So you can see that's about the max. The 300 doesn't fit, but then it zips up in a nice kind of thin profile. Um, inside, it's got basic pockets, across the both sides, but then plenty of room in the center. And that's that's great. Um, on the outside, more pockets. Some of these are more for fasteners. I don't really like leaving tools in them as much. Tape, this is a nice deep pocket, goes all the way down. Um, you can put a shoulder strap on it if you want. And then it's also got this, which is kind of a nice little attachment. Um, this is for gloves um, or anything else you need to snap on there. Just clip, grab a hold of. But anyway, um, 35 bucks for something like this. Real simple design. It's like a gate mouth, um, double zipper, but I like the thinness and I like the depth. Now, it's real close to this uh, Vito Pro Pack MC as far as the depth. Um, you know, here's my 250. If I drop that in, you can see it's kind of similar. If you want to go larger with larger tools, then, you know, you're probably going to have to go if you want, you know, in the same kind of thin profile. This one's a little thicker here. Um, but this is the Tech MCT, which does run a little taller. So you can see there's plenty more room. Um, it's a different, different animal. But anyway, overall, I love these little bags. I've got some for cars, I've got them in the garage. Um, and uh, I just picked this one up not terribly long ago, enough to get it stained though inside. And it's just a decent, solid little bag, high performance, 35 bucks. Um, so if you're looking for something like that, I can highly recommend the Husky bags and this one in particular. They've, Husky has never let me down when it comes to these uh, um, you know, basic tool bags. And with that, Doc out.